where to begin. Well, where to begin? Seriously, where to begin? I just saw the Eagles versus Browns. And I already see the biggest problem with this, this team, period. Everybody kept saying it's Carson Wentz. Bench him. Give Jenny Hurst a chance. Maybe something will be different. Blah, blah, blah. I, I get that. I hear every time from Eagles fans, bench Carson Wentz. He's bad. Listen to that. But you know what? It's not just Carson Wentz. It's not just Carson Wentz. This game right here just show it's coaching. A legit so coaching. But you know what? I don't blame coaching right now. You know what I'm really going to blame? And why this game right here that made me see what was the biggest problem. Biggest problem with this team right now is Howie Roseman. People don't realize it's Howie Rosen. You know why? I'm gonna tell you why. There's one thing that I kept saying since the beginning of the season, before the beginning of the season actually, was an off season. We need an officer coordinator. No, you would decided to pick Doug Peterson, who is the most trash person to fucking call plays. He is the worst play call ever, and this game shows it to this day right now. This game showed how bad Doug Peterson is in calling plays. Did you see how many mistakes we made again and made the same mistake? Made the same mistake since the beginning of the season, very first game against Washington. We we're doing the same play calls over and over. The same mistakes, fumbles, sacks, sacks again, interceptions. We're doing the same thing, and Doug is calling the plays. And how bad is Mickey Carson Wentz is right now this season? And right now, and I really strongly believe Howie Roseman needs to get fired today. Change the team. Has to be this. Want to change the team, Howie Roseman needs to go. He has to go. I'm saying that as a good friend. He is the biggest problem right now. Because of him, this team is like this. He's the one that put the team together before the season started. And look where we at now. And then, I would get Doug Peterson one year left. Because I know we can't give Carson Wentz away. It, it, no, how you put it, his contract ain't going to let it go. I'm telling you, we're going to have to be stuck with him for two years. Yeah, for Eagle fan needs to understand we can't let him go. No matter how bad it is, we have to see how he is with a new GM. And also with an office coordinator this time. Because you look at 2017, we had an office coordinator. And what happened? Carson Wentz was given with the Carson Wentz we needed to have. You know what I'm saying? And that's what y'all need to understand. And I know we are frustrated. I know y'all want to be frustrated about how the fact Carson Wentz needs to sit down. Blah. I get that because I'm an Eagle fan. I'm a die hard. I'm a die with this team. How bad we are, I'm still going to go for them. But I'm going to tell you straight out. Howie Roseman needs to go. He is the biggest problem of this team right now. When you get rid of him, you give a new co a new GM. Work on and get an office coordinator. See what Doug Peterson can do with an office coordinator. Do not call plays. And if he mess up, he got to go too. And if Carson Wentz mess up, well, you got to let him, you got to bench him. Let's just be real, man. I'm going to be straight up. I'm frustrated. I'm tired of seeing the same plays over and over and over. And mistakes, mistakes, opportunities, fail, fail, fail. Because that's exactly what we're doing right now. We are bad. There's no defending this team right now. This team is bad. It's pathetic. But I'm going to still ride with this team because I love this team. And I believe in Carson Wentz. He get us to a Super Bowl. But it ain't going to be this year. It's not going to be this year. It's as frustrating as it is. ain't going to be. And I honestly don't deserve to want to win the division this year. That's how bad we are. I don't care what you say is bad. We really, we really need this win because now we got three opponents that we have to face that over 500, and they are biggest threat: Seattle Seahawks, Cardinals, and Packers. I know, I know, I didn't say the, the same um, the road, the schedule, but that's that's a, that's some three, three big games. And Seattle, oh, don't forget the Saints. I'm sorry, I didn't want to forget about them. But yes, they also in there. Four teams there, we have to face. And and people right now, to me, I believe that we ain't gonna win. You know why? Because plays, plays like this, games like this, Doug Peterson court plays is the reason why we ain't going to win another game. I promise you we ain't going to win another game like this. I don't care how bad I believe in Carson Wentz and how bad I want the Eagles to win. We ain't going to win another game. There's no in hell we're going to win another game when Doug Peterson court and play. Doug Peterson is a big problem. Carson Wentz is also a problem too. But Howie Roseman is he's the biggest problem. And he has to go. He has to go. Making the decisions in the draft is pathetic. It's horrible. I understand he tried to get some weapons for Carson Wentz. I get it. But he didn't get us what we really needed in the office, according to when I said we needed one. 
Because look what now. Look at his biggest mistake. Didn't sign an office coordinator, and look what he put. Doug Peterson as the play caller, and what do we get from him? A 3-6-1? and one? Wake up, guys. It's the truth. Howie Roseman needs to go. Simple as that. And I'm actually making this video, and I really don't post too much about my egos, but you know what? I'm frustrated. I'm pissed off right now. I don't look like it, but I know my pressure is high as a mother. Let's just be real. I'm going to go out there right now. I'm going to have my cigar, have a beer, because that's what I need right now. Even though it's not a victory, but it's a failure for us right now. This is pathetic, and something needs to change today. If I was the owner of Philadelphia Eagles, I would fire um, Howie right now. I don't care how if it's just the middle of the season. I don't care. He got to go because he didn't give us what we really needed, the biggest key offers coordinator, and let him call the plays. Doug is not the guy. He's a head coach. I could give him that, but he's not the guy to call plays. And this is why I say we need to give Doug one more year. I give him one more year because he gave us a Super Bowl. I believe he could give us one more year if he doesn't call the plays. And I will give Carson Wentz as bad as bad his contract is. He ain't going nowhere. He's stuck with us for two years. I give him that extra year again. He he needs to stay with us. It has to. There's just nobody gonna take him with that big contract. Let's be real. I would not go for Jane Hurst because if you put Jane Hurst in there, he's a rookie. He's gonna make more mistakes, and people don't understand that. Let's just be real. I'm frustrated, guys. I'm really frustrated, but Howie has to go. Something needs to change. This, you've seen this game. you got people seeing the game? How bad it was? I saw it from the beginning to the end, and I'm pissed. And I seen it. I was looking at it when we made that first mistake. And when I saw that first mistake, I was like, we ain't going nowhere. We're not going nowhere. There's no way in hell we're going anywhere with this team like this. It is bad. There's no chemistry. There's no fighting. There's no soul to this damn team right now. I can see it. And I know Carson Wentz is pushing it because I see him do some plays that, and I see him really trying to believe in the team. I, I see him. That's why I will give him the opportunity. I'm not kissing his ass. I know he made a lot of wrong, a lot of, lot of bad plays, a lot of bad throws, a lot of bad decisions as well. But I see a little fight in him none that I don't see around him either. Everybody in that besides Miles Sanders, and I think Miles Sanders is the only star player in there because wh wh who is it? Travis uh, Foreman? Pathetic this game. Knowing that he was doing good the first half of the season, he was bad this game. Horrible. Like, he didn't, he wasn't there. There was no soul to him. He was just like a rag doll there. I saw Jeffrey. Bad as hell. Pathetic. Didn't catch anything. Useless to me. Believe in the running play, we did pretty good. But what happened? Doug Peterson decided to go for pass plays and mess it up again. You see what I mean? It's bad decision that we are. We are facing our own self. We are beating our own self in this day. This is why I don't believe the Eagles going anywhere. I don't believe the Eagles are going away because we are facing our old demons right now. And I've been saying this to Philly Mike. I've been sending this to uh, Philly Fresh. I've been saying this for Philly 500. And I've been definitely sending this for LB. I'm a big fan for all of them. And I tell them the same thing. We ain't going nowhere if we don't fix ourselves right now. And I hope they watch this video because I'm not dead ass saying the truth right now. We are not going nowhere because we're facing our own demons. We're facing our demons with, with injuries. We're facing our own demons in, 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 in the system itself right now where we ain't doing nothing good. This team is bad. And I really believe that Washington, maybe even the Giants would win this division because we ain't going nowhere. How are we going to face a team over 500 if we can't even face our own self right where is the soul of this team? Where is the heart of this team at? And I believe Carson Wentz has it. I really believe he's the only one right now besides Miles Sanders and and, and Dallas Goddard, which actually did pretty good this game. I ain't going to lie. He did really good. Got a few catches. Got some yards. Uh, I think he got a touchdown as well, if I'm correct. Oh, no, was it Doug? Uh, uh, no, I think Rodgers had it, yes. They had something. But guys like our key guys, like Osar Jeffrey, um... Um, Travis Fogum. What? Where were they? Our defense was doing okay. They were holding it up, and this is why I, I want to fire Jim Sorce because it, it was it was okay. And I say it was the best. It was horrible defense because there was time that we had we easy give up a lot of yards, especially when they hold it down when they blocked. They did it. They did a good block. They um turn, had a good turnover because it cost us to get us a touchdown, which is great. And we had, we had a bad slum from here on. But it's not the defense I'm worried about. It's the offense that we couldn't score. Shizzle. For the first half, we were garbage. 
There was no chemistry. There was no communication. There was nothing. This team sucks because we suck in ourselves right now. We are bad right now. That we have no faith in ourselves right now. I can see it in that team right now. This team is horrible. And I had to post about this Eagles, man, because I love the team and I want the team to change. And I'm not trying to make it an Eagles contact, you know what I'm saying? Because this is what I just want to share. Because my channel is basically where I love to show off. And I love to show off this team. I believe in this team could give us another Super Bowl with Carson Wentz. I really do believe it. I am. A, I will still be in that bag with the wagon for Carson Wentz because I believe he could be that guy. But I don't believe the people around him. I don't. And I'm not saying for all of them. I'm saying majority. Guys like Doug Peterson, who's calling plays, I don't believe it. Howard Roseman, I do not want him as the office no more. He's bad. He's bad drafting. He's bad at making decisions to certain play players to be in there. He's horrible. He needs to go. If I was the owner, I would fire him today. Today. Gotta go, baby. You ain't doing nothing for us. You are bad. You gave us the Super Bowl. I thank you for that. But you know what? Your decisions now and for the last three years has been horrible. You got to go. You got to go. Get a new GM. Let's see what Doug and Carson Wentz can do with a new GM. And hope and pray that we get an offensive coordinator that know what he is doing. That's what I want to see. I need to see changes. This ain't going right with this team right now. This team is really going bad. And I don't see any other win right now for this Eagles right now. The way we're playing on ourselves right now. Ain't looking too good, guys. Anyway, tell me what you think about this game and what who you think should get fired on Magni. And don't give me this Carson Wentz thing, man, because honestly, he ain't going nowhere. Let's just be real where real is at. He ain't going nowhere. Doug Peterson ain't going to go nowhere either. And as bad as it is, like, the only thing I want Doug Peterson to do is give up his place. Got to give it. He is selfish. He needs to give it up. Give it to someone else. Give it to someone. Maybe that someone could be that unique to help this team believe in themselves. How Roseman got to go. I, I see this game, and I saw it. From, from the beginning to the end, I already knew we were going to win. Why? There was no souls there, man. There was nothing there. Doug Peterson made the same mistake over and over. Ain't going nowhere. Tell me what y'all think, yo. Let's go out. Let's go, Eagle. Fly, Eagle, fly. I still believe in them. It's just not my day, man. This is going to be a bad dash game, guys. I'm out, yo. God bless you. Happy holidays. And I'll post another video when I can, when I feel a little better. You know what I mean? But this team, man, something got to happen. I'm out.